welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are all doing amazing for today's video it is this entire look right here from start to finish my smoky eye look it looks something like this <laughs> and I also went ahead and I used the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick on my lip as well. So if you guys want to know how I achieved this look, please stay tuned and watch. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And other than that, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, you guys, so I already went ahead and I primed my lids with the 24-hour... Is that what it's called? 24 hour extend eye base from MAC um, and the palette that I'm using today is the on the run palette from Urban Decay. I have been absolutely obsessed with this palette. I have been using it like constantly for like all my looks. This is what it looks like right here. It is so 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 pretty. It has like every single color. I'm just obsessed with it. This is going to be the only palette that I am using for this look today. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the color Riff, which is right here. And I'm going to be using that as a transition shade on my outer crease, only using it with a blending brush. guys so as you guys can see i only have two colors on the first color was riff the other color was baja which is more of the orangey shade that i just put on right now you guys if you guys are beginners when it comes to a smoky eye i just want to tell you guys that your best friend will be a blending brush this one is from morphe it's the m441 blending brush i think it's like seven or eight dollars if i'm not mistaken i will go ahead and link it down below blending brushes you guys are your best friends forever this is what's going to help you in just basically with eyeshadows in general this is going to be your best friend right over here when it comes to lid colors and i've talked about this before in my other um videos but i will i'll just kind of refresh your guys's memories blending brushes are great for blending out especially outer crease colors um flat brushes are great for lid colors so basically the lid space if you're trying to put like a pop of color a shimmer glitter whatever you want to go ahead and use a flat brush just because if you are trying to blend out an eyeshadow um using a flat brush is just not going to work because how are you going to use a flat brush and try and blend out eyeshadow there's going to be lines everywhere and then same way as trying to pack on eyeshadow on your lid with a blending brush it's not going to work lastly what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the darker brown shade and we're going to go ahead and apply that on our lid space now the key you guys to this is trying your hardest not to go straight in with a dark shadow and apply it all over your lid because that's not the way we want our smoky eye to look what we want to do is we want it to go ahead and take any sort of flat brush first and apply the dark brown shade on our lid and then taking any sort of blending brush go ahead and blend that shade out just because if we take a blending brush and take that dark color and apply it first it's just going to go everywhere and it's just going to be a big mess and that's not what we want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and grab that dark shade first and lay it on my lid only And then taking your blending brush, go ahead and blend out the edges.
Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I am using SUNY lashes in the style Rone Stone. They look something like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Um, I have my lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Smashbox primer that looks something like this right here. This one's the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. One of my absolute primers. Actually, this is like the only primer that I actually use constantly, like all the time. Every time I do my uh, makeup, I always use this. And I only apply it right here where my cheeks are because... I have a lot of pores right here mainly, as well as my nose and my forehead. So basically my T-zone area. And a little bit on my chin. Why not? Now the foundations, you guys, that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to go ahead and mix um, Huda Beauty and Armani. In Huda Beauty, I am in the shade Amaretti. It's A-M-A-R-E-T-T-I. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just do like half a pump of that and then one pump of Ar or two pumps of Armani Silk and an Armani I'm, a f I'm shade 5.7. 5.75 and then I like to mix that just because for Huda Beauty it's very 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 um, full coverage and which I love but sometimes it's just too much for me especially after I do concealer and I also set my face with powder it just becomes too much so I like to go ahead and mix it with a lighter foundation to kind of even it out and balance out the coverage of Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a kabuki brush, and as you guys know, I love my kabuki brushes just because it packs on and blends into the skin so well. Okay, you guys, so I have my foundation on. I'm going to go ahead and use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral as my highlight. Okay, now guys, I'm going to go ahead and use the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powders in the shade Banana Bread. I always have to smell them because I personally love the smell of her foundation and powders. I think they smell so good. Most people hate them, but I personally love the scent of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just now just lightly set the bottom of my eyes. You know what I hate you guys? There's so many bathrooms in our house and they always want to use the bathroom where I'm recording in. I cannot. The two songs that have been stuck in my head, you guys, is 
uh, Ariana Grande's new song God is a Woman and Kiki, do you love me? Are you ready? Say no. I'm like obsessed with those two songs at the moment. Okay, you guys, so is this is too light of a contour. Kind of. Let's go a little bit more. Okay, now for blush, my favorite blush at the moment is Warm Soul by MAC Cosmetics. And just use any blush brush. And what I hate that is on camera, you cannot, you can barely see it. But in person, you can see it so much better. It's a very peachy toned color. Taking those same three shades that we used on top of our lids, I'm going to go ahead and use those same three shades, shades in that same order from the Urban Decay palette on the bottom of my eye to just smoke it out and so that it's all just kind of evened out where it's not just the top that's smoked out but also the bottom. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished makeup, eye look, face look, da 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 I just need to go ahead and finish everything off and just apply my lip. I did go ahead and receive the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and this is what the PR package looks like right over here. I hope you guys can see it. And each liquid lip, um, Huda went ahead and did a specific look with them, which I think is so dope, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the back as well. Um... Stunning absolutely stunning um, So now I believe every single one of these are just completely new shades new names new everything and Then when you go ahead and open it, let's open this bad boy. Hope you guys I'm gonna start from the beginning um, Looks something these are basically all the shades right over here So her message in the corner says, Huda Beauty Demi Matte, inspired by Huda's love for self-expression through makeup, Huda Beauty Demi Matte is a bold cream lip, um, lipstick showcasing a full spectrum of ultra feminine colors to com complement every one of your alter egos. Oh, that makes sense with the pictures, okay. Saturated in pigment, the rich and creamy texture glides with an intense color release from the first swipe. The lacquer-like sheen highlights the curves of your lips with a hint of mint. Ooh. I like how almost every single one of her products has a scent to them, which is kind of dope. Um, so with a hint of mint in the formula naturally enhances the fullness of your palate. So does that mean that it is kind of like a lip plumper in a sense? Mmm. Enriched, enriched with maxi lip for extreme comfort, Demi Matte sets to a satin finish that lasts for hours without dehydrating the lips. Faithful to her versatile use, Huda likes to blot her lips after application to meet the shine and achieve an even more matte, almost stainy finish. Hashtag Huda Beauty Demi Matte. So is that like a tip that she's telling us to do after we're done to kind of blot it off? I don't even have tissue here. I'm gonna have to blot it off with my hands. So, um, whoops. Now for the look that I did since 
my eyes are already so bold I don't want to do another bold like I don't want a bold look because I feel like that would be just too much so I kind of want to stick with a nude and she has a bunch of pretty nudes let me look at the back really quickly she has so many pretty ones oh my god let me swatch you guys the nudes so the first one is called mogul and it looks something like this right there that's mogul super pretty kind of feels somewhat glossy the second nude that i see is feminist these are both really pinky nudes i've noticed the next nude that I see is Day Slayer. She looks something like that. I get another pinky nude. And then I see Shiro. It's stuck. Come on, Shiro. kind of a peachy nude and then I see she-e-o <laughs> like a c-e-o but she-e-o it's interesting and this one actually comes in a clear packaging this is the only one in a packaging the other ones are all kind of just there she-e-o that's kind of a cute name it's pretty too. That looks something like that right there. They're all so pretty. I'm honestly not sure which one to use. I have no idea. So those are the nudes. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of them because why not? Those are all the nudes. Now starting from the top, the first one is Game Changer, which is a pink. And it is this one right here. My swatches are getting smaller and smaller, shorter and shorter. So it's that one right there, Game Changer. It's a really pretty pink. And then the next one is called Revolutionaire. Ooh, this one's really pretty. It's like a mauve -y. It has hints of gray in it. Looks something like that right there. And then the next one's called Boy Collector. And this is, of course, a red. And what I like, you guys, is that you can tell the difference between her demi mats and her mats because it starts from black and it kind of fades into the color, which is definitely different from her original packaging. And this one is Boy Collector, which is the red. I personally love a more blue red over an orange red. So that one's definitely a like for me because it's more, again, on the blue red side. The next one is Sheikha. I hope I'm saying that right. And it is a, another pink, but more of a light. Ooh, this one's really, I should have swatched that with the nudes. It's not really nude nude, but that's a really pretty pink. I like that. Looks like that. Sheikha. And then the next one is Lady Boss. It looks like, oh, it's stuck. Ah! Okay, Lady Boss. It's similar to Sheikha if it was a little more deeper in color. It's like a burgundy in a sense. You guys, my, my swatches are slowly dragging a, a, away from where they should be. Okay, the next shade is called, I hope I'm saying this right, um, provocateur, 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 provocateur. Let's try and swatch them back this way. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. This one's very, very similar to Revolutionaire. Show you guys, it looks something like this. It's very, very similar to this one in a sense. It's just a little bit darker. You guys, I swear when I swatch them, they look straight. I don't know what it's because I'm twisting them around. That might 
arm also twists. Oh my god, they're really stuck down there. Okay, you guys, and now the last four colors we have Boss, Catwalk Killer, Bonnie, and then Passionista, which is right here. And then this is all of her shades that she came out with right here. I'm gonna kind of go ahead and turn my. How am I gonna do this? I don't even know. I'm gonna start from right here and then kind of just go down. These are all the shades that she came out with. So I went ahead and I used MAC Spice Lip Liner to just outline my lip and then the shade that I'm using is Day Slayer which was basically the lightest nude and I wanna just kind of smell it to see if it smells like mint. So it has a very, very, very light minty smell to it. It's not too um, crazy much. Oh, this is actually really pretty, you guys. I thought it was going to be lighter, but I think the lip liner toned it down. You guys, I actually love this color. And, and the feel, it does feel really creamy on. I'm afraid that it is not going to stay on too long because it isn't a matte lipstick. But honestly, I kind of like it more than a matte lipstick because it doesn't have that dry feel to it the way a matte does. Because usually when I apply a matte lipstick, I tend to apply a little bit of gloss in the center or a little bit over it just because it's so dry. But this kind of does two in one and I love how it blended in so well with the lip liner. I don't know you guys, you guys let me know what you think of this color. So this is the end of the look. It looks something like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Please let me know down below if you guys liked it or not. Did I go too overboard? Is it not enough? I think it's pretty enough, but you know, just let me know your opinions down below. Um, also, let me know what other stuff you guys want to see in the future. Do you want to see more videos with me and my sisters or me by myself? Um, whatever it is, go ahead and let me know down below so I know. But other than that, you guys, this is the final look. I had a blast filming it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel for more videos. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And yeah, bye guys.